back, you're watching Overdrive. Now, the BMW 5 Series has grown in length for the Indian market and alongside its first walk-around review, we got a chance to drive it for a very short while. So here's Rohit with his first drive impressions. It's been 5-2, 52 years since the birth of the 5 Series lineage. And now we have the 8th generation model finally here in India. Now, honestly, it's 2024. It's been a while since the 8th generation 5 Series has been launched in the global market. So why has it taken that long? Well, for that, you need to move to the side and see just how big this car has become. Because you see, this is now the 5 Series long wheelbase or LWB. That makes it the third long wheelbase model from BMW India after the 7 Series and the 3 Series Grand Limousine. Let's first talk about the new design. They have retained the traditional shape for the kidney grills somewhat, but it doesn't look as in your face as it did with the 7 Series or the i7. It's also got this contrasting effect on this particular car and if you were to look at it closely, it's also got a transparent lining. That's essentially for the lighting. So if you want to bling it up a little bit, you want to illuminate that grill, you can do that. Now the other design bit that I really like, which I don't think is too bling but really sporty, is this little dimple that you get on the bonnet. This is where the BMW roundel sits. It will remind you of the BMW M3. So that I think is a very nice design detail. Moving back to the grill, these panels here, they will open or shut depending on when the engine needs cooling or when the car needs better aerodynamic efficiency. You also get this five lettering here in the Hofmeister King. Now this is not illuminated like the grill. This one, however, is done up in white and it's done up in a material that reflects quite nicely when light falls on it. Power tailgate is what you get. It hides beneath it a 500 liter boot space. Now on the side, the doors nice and big and they almost open 90 degrees. So getting in and out of the car is not going to be a problem at all. In fact, we hear that this will be a longer wheelbase car than even the new E-Class that is coming into India. That will have 3094 millimeters of wheelbase. You heard that first on overdrive. Whereas this one has 3105, so still 11 millimeters longer. Now, in terms of the rear seat, well, nice, comfortable place to be in. Superb legroom, decent amount of headroom. Foot space is quite good too. You do get, however, a center armrest, which gets you a little bit of storage space right here. A wireless charging, which will take plus size phones and should you press that button right here it reveals two cup holders you get bars and wilkins audio with a nice metal mesh on top of it the speakers are illuminated as well on the side of it you will see these b pillar mounted ac vents you get two ac vents in the center this is a proper four zone climate control as well and one additional bit is you can also choose the temperature that you want at your feet separately the moment you get into the cabin, you realize ingress and egress is just as easy for a low riding sedan like this. And once you are inside, you also realize that the cabin is almost similar to what you've seen on the 7 Series or the i7 that was standing on the same showroom floors. What I mean by that is you get these nice curved displays for the infotainment and the instrumentation. And you also get these lovely lighting elements in this nice crystal like look that they've given to the glass. So most of this is interactive as well. What that means is that this will not only show you the ambient color that you've chosen for the lighting, it will also, for example, when you switch on the hazard lights, it will all glow red. Now, in terms of the upholstery, you get this vegan leather or art leather and BMW says this is the first time that the entire cabin is done up in the vegan leather. So even the trimming on the steering wheel is all vegan leather. So the engine here is a two-liter, four-cylinder, mated to the lovely eight-speed telepathic transmission. And we are already close to 100. Yeah, that was me driving in a very gingerly manner in the efficient driving mode. The engine puts out close to 255 PS, which is quite healthy. It may sound a little humble, but honestly, these are some really healthy figures. The acceleration, as you'd expect, feels brisk, especially the in-gear acceleration feels quite brisk. And that's 150. Superb. 
So ADAS obviously is something that is a talking point right now for a lot of cars. This being one of the apex luxury cars in its segment obviously gets all of that and the overall safety features are right up there that you would expect in this particular price bracket. The ride quality is actually good because the 18 inches make sure that there is still enough give in the tyres to give you a good ride quality. Lane changes at highway speeds shouldn't be a problem at all. Let's hop into the rear seat and see how the rear seat comfort is. Wow, sitting cross-legged in the back of a 5 Series with enough room for someone in the front. Now that's a first, isn't it? And that's exactly what a lot of you probably have been waiting for with the BMW 5 Series and now you get it with this model. So the overall comfort, really good. Now on the roads that we are driving on, super smooth roads, single lane, not really changing too many lanes, not really subjecting the car to a lot of potholes, etc. But despite that, yeah, it doesn't seem to have that overly firm edge that we are known to have with BMW. So again, from a rear seat standpoint, a good thing to have. So the way the suspension has been set up, though comfort is of primary importance here, it still makes sure that you still feel that you are sitting in a BMW while the rough edge has been taken off. So it's not just the wheels, but also the suspension that is tuned to that effect. So the 5 Series will not feel like a compromise at all now if you are going to be driven all the time. That's it then from us on this week's edition of Forward Drive. But remember, you can stay in touch with the team through our various social media platforms and you can write to us on YouTube as well. We'll see you next week. Until then, drive and ride safe.